Let's move on to the stream visual assessment. You already actually provided scores for all of the elements in the stream visual assessment protocol during the stream survey week. So really all you have to do is enter those scores from the worksheet here on the spreadsheet. So if we were just if we go back to the data sheet that you use, let's say you chose 9 for this element channel condition, 10 for hydrologic alteration, and chose 8 and 7 for bank condition for the right and left banks, and so forth. So what you would need to do simply is to enter those numbers here on the spreadsheet. So 9, 10, 8, 7, and let's say for most of the rest of these elements, everything is an 8. So the way to come up with the assessment score, overall score and the rating is to first take the sum of all of those elements that you scored. Then you want to have a count of the number of elements scored. Now, if you remember from the worksheet, there are listed here 12 elements. But some of those elements have a score for both the right and the left bank. So on our spreadsheet, there's actually more than 12 total elements here. So the best way to do that is to actually use the count function for all of the elements scored. And we'll see that it's actually 14. I left one empty here, Riffle Embeddedness, because you might not have done all of the elements, but that's OK. You can still score the stream and the stream environment based on what you actually assessed. So to come up with the actual overall score, you just divide the sum of the elements by the number that you actually scored. So we have a number overall score of 8.14. And if we go to our rating table over here, 8.14 would be a rating of good. So the rating here is good. But that's not necessarily all that we want. If you recall, I asked you to write comments for some of the scores, especially if they were below about an 8 or a 7, because you might want to explain why there might be problems with, for example, bank condition. So make sure you bring over any comments that you had on the uh, worksheet into this spreadsheet. That will help you when you're writing up your Streamlab report with both interpretation of your data and especially if you make any recommendations for improvement to the stream uh, management or conditions that will help you understand what kinds of elements or metrics you're trying to improve and what the concerns might be. All right, good luck with the rest of your assessments.